everyone, my name is Tiffany and this is my channel, Who's Your Handmade? Thank you so much for stopping by today. In today's video, it's another episode of Hashtag Friday Sews. If that sounds interesting to you, stick around. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I hope that you will consider subscribing before you leave. I would love to get to know you better and welcome you into the sewing community. And as always, thank you so, so much to each one of my friends who keep coming back video after video. Thank you for taking time out of your Friday to spend a little bit of it with me. It means so very much to me. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And today is hashtag Friday Sews, where we can catch up on one another's sewing week. So let me know down below in the comment section what you've been working on. I love, love, love hearing about your sewing projects as well. And I love chatting with you down below in the comment section. Before we get into what I've been sewing and making this week, what am I wearing today? This is a me made. This is the Style Up Parker dress. I'll pop a picture up. I made this as a mommy and me set for me and my little girl Addie. I also made her the Parker from Little Lizard King. They're the same pattern, uh, just in a wide variety of sizes for children and then for adults. This is such a fun pattern. It's very similar to my Ellie and Max staycation dress. And actually, uh, one of my friends on Instagram, Lori, asked me the difference um, of this dress there on Instagram on my picture of this one. That's a great Great question, Lori. Um, in my answer to her, I gave her a few differences in the design of the pattern. The Parker is a dolman style sleeve, so you don't have a set in sleeve, and it is quite oversized. The oversized uh, feature of the Parker is what makes it so very different, in my opinion, to the Ellie and Mac. It is a tiered dress, there are layers, but they're very, very flowy. They're much more um, flowy and oversized as opposed to the Ellie and Max staycation. I still love both dresses. I wore this one all the time on vacation. If we were going to a nicer restaurant or if we were going to um, kind of a special place, one day we went to Disney Springs and we just walked around the shops and then we had supper and I wore this dress and then had Addie in her matching one just for a little fancier feel, a little bit more dressed up. So I love this dress. I want to make more of them. And it's definitely another great tiered dress option. So what have I been working on this week? I've been up here some in my sewing room. We were away on the weekend, but I'm trying to restart that sojo. I've been talking about trying to restart my sojo. It's been a little bit slow going, but I've been working at it with the help of my dear friend, Agatha. Her and I did a collaboration on Tuesday. If you didn't catch that video, I'll link it down below, but I'll go ahead and show you what I made for that collaboration. I picked up this pattern again. This is the Quick Sew 2596. This is a vintage, what I consider a vintage Quick Sew pattern. It's from 1997. I've made it once for Addie before and I fell in love with this pattern. It's quick, it's easy, so much fun to sew and it was a great one to kind of restart my sojo. So I again made view B there for my little girl. It's a tunic and shorts set. There's the line drawings. And I chose some fruity fabric. That was kind of the theme of our collab was to motivate each other to uh, get in on the fruity hashtag so fruity 24 challenge. So I used some really cute, happy fruit fabric. This is interlock knit from the pop line at Joann's. It's been languishing in my stash for a very long time. I've had it over two years at this point. So I decided to go ahead and make Addie the little tunic and then I used some coordinating um, golden rib knit from Hobby Lobby. So that was really cute. And then the shorts whip up so fast. Here are the little shorts that go with that pattern as well. Just really fun, simple sew. I added a cute label. Let me see if I can find it. <laughs> There's the little orange label to go with to go with the little tunic. So yeah, very cute. 
and like I said, fun and easy to restart my sojo. I'll also include a link down below to Agatha's collab video. She made a really cute set for her daughter as well. So go ahead over to her channel and check that out if you have not done so already. So this has kind of restarted my sojo. I've been thinking about July plans. Hopefully on Tuesday, my July sewing plans will be up and I will share those with you all. I am planning several things for my so I'm excited to kind of focus on me and my wardrobe in July. I hope I get time to accomplish everything that I want to. For the rest of the month of June here though, I have been inspired by a fellow YouTuber. I doubt she's ever heard of me or my channel, but I'm going to mention her and give her, give her a shout out. Anyway, I've done it before on my channel. I so enjoy watching Joy Bernhardt. I love every single video she puts out. I cannot wait to watch them when she puts out a new one. And in her most recent one, she made a tank top and shorts loungewear set that I just fell in love with. I watched her video and I was like, man, I really want to make that for myself. So I went to my big four pattern stash. I'm in the middle of a buying band, so I didn't want to look for any new patterns that I need to buy. And I thought surely I had something that could work within my stash. So I went to my Simplicity patterns and I found this one. This is Simplicity 9219. Disregard the rack number there. Sorry about that. It is 9219. And it's something of like a sleepwear, loungewear set. So you have the tank top, you have a nightgown, and then you have a pants or shorts. Let me show you the line drawings. It actually comes with a lot of options. You have a sleeved shirt, a sleeved nightgown, and then three different lengths of pants. So I was really excited to find this one in my stash. I'm going to do the tank top and shorts and I have pulled some stash fabrics out. I've had this fabric in my stash for a while as well. I've kind of been hoarding it. It is so, so soft. This is a steel blue modal knit fabric from Joann's and it is so, so soft so soft. I've been hoarding it in my stash for something special, something that needed um, incredibly soft fabric like this one has. It's actually ribbed. You can see the ribs right there. I have two and a half yards of this. I've already cut out the shorts and this is what I have left uh, for the tank top. So I know I'm going to have plenty of fabric and I'm excited to make something of a loungewear set for myself with that fabric. So hopefully by next week, by next Hashtag Friday Sews, I will have a finished, really comfortable loungewear set to share with you. Thank you to Joy for the inspiration. And you know, the world could use a little more positivity anyway. So I just want to say a huge thank you, a blanket thank you to all those YouTubers that are taking their time to inspire us to restart our sojo, to show us patterns and fabrics and makes. That is just so amazing. It helps me so much to re-inspire me. Thank you so much to all of those YouTubers who are doing that. And thank you to Joy for inspiring my loungewear set. I had some really fun happy mail from my dear friend Agatha. She is so sweet. She sends me all kinds of wonderful packages and spoils me. And in her most recent one to me. She absolutely spoiled me so much with some beautiful ribbing from Ecobe Fabrics there in Ireland. And I'm going to share these with you. Agatha and I were talking about our love of rib knit and ribbing and how we love to use it on our knit project. And so she selected a huge variety of the ribbing that's available there at Ecobe to share with me and let me experience some of their kind of ribbing. I'm going to link Ecobe down below so that you can check out their website as well, especially if you're in the UK 
the shipping won't cost you near as much as it would uh, for us over here in the U.S., but it's definitely a great, great fabric store, a great fabric option for all of these wonderful knit fabrics and especially these ribbings. So this stack of beautiful ribbings are a little more uh, softer. They're a very fine, very fine rib knit. We have a dark purple, a lavender, this is a hunter green color, peach, a pinky peach, and then here is kind of like a goldenrod yellow. Those are all that real soft ribbing. I am so excited to use these for neck bands. They would be perfect for neck bands. They're very, very soft. They would be soft up around your neck. And now I have all these beautiful colors. Thank you, Agatha. <laughs> and then this stack of them are a little bit more heavier weight, a little bit heavier weight rib knit, still ribbed as you can see. These would be perfect for sweatshirt cuffs or neck bands, or um, if you had a waistband, this would be perfect for this. So we have a bright pink. Let me just get that a little closer and you can see the rib knit. And again, like I said, a little bit thicker, a little more sturdier than the ones that I just showed you. I love this one, kind of a speckled blue. This one was so beautiful. I love this one so much. Addie was so excited about that one. I think she'll love it for her outfits. Here's a baby pink. Oh, I love this green color. It screams spring. Love that one. And this beautiful blue. So absolutely so spoiled with this beautiful ribbing from Ecobi and from my dear friend Agatha. Thank you so much, Agatha, for gifting all of that to me. And like I said, I will link all of that down below. Go to the Ecobi website and check out their ribbing if you are in need of really great quality, great selection for ribbing for your knit projects. And last week I put out a call for help. <laughs> Why am I so intimidated by zippers? I don't know. I know that I can master it. It's just a really big thing in my mind. I am intimidated by them. So I asked you all last last week for some suggestions on beginner zipper projects, and I thought I would share some of the answers that I got last week in case you are also in the intimidated by zipper train and you need some uh, suggestions and maybe some inspiration to start your zipper journey as well. So Marcia said to start with a center back seam, like a center back seam and a dress, the zipper and a dress. She said that might be a little bit more easy to do, that straight zipper instead of a curved one. Thank you, Marcia, for that. Diane said to start with a small makeup bag that had a zipper in it. That's a great idea. Idea. That would be a straight zipper there, very small zipper that you could insert. Uh, Lori also said a small bag with the zipper. That definitely seems to be a very popular option for a beginner zipper project. Anna suggested an A-line or a pencil skirt with a zipper. A skirt would be a very simple uh, kind of construction itself and then putting the small skirt zipper in would be a good option. And then Erin said to also start with perhaps a skirt that has a side or a back zipper. And then she said that the Tomcat stitchery tutorials for zippers really helped her. So thank you, Erin, for suggesting those tutorials. I definitely will be watching those. Like I said, it's kind of a mental game for me at this point. I'm just intimidated by zippers. So thank you so much to all of these wonderful suggestions. Thank you for your help. I'll definitely be tackling zippers, hopefully, sometime in the near future. <laughs> And then the last thing that I want to talk about sewing wise this week is the pattern sales. Now, if you've been monitoring them, which I've kind of been slacking off because I'm not buying patterns right now. I'm in one of my buying ban periods. But here and there, I see um, other YouTubers or on Instagram, people talking about the sales. 
and they've been a little bit more expensive, Joann's wise, $2.99, $5.99, $6.99 sometimes for like Vogue. So the prices have been up a little bit, but for this week, starting yesterday, I believe that the McCall's patterns are going to be back to $1.99. So that is back to those lowest prices, not the lowest. I remember the days where they were 99 cents, but those days are long gone, I believe. <laughs> so $1.99 is the lowest that they will probably go. So definitely take advantage of McCall's patterns this weekend there at Joann's if you want to get in on some new McCall's patterns. As far as life goes, we did go camping last weekend. That was a lot of fun with my family. It was very hot, but the campground, uh, the state park that we were at, has a beach area for their lake. So my family visited that. I stayed up on the beach and read my book. So that was really relaxing. And then we also had a water table and some water things for the kids to play with. So it wasn't too terribly hot. So we really had a lot of fun last weekend. Quiet weekend here at home, hopefully coming up. I'm hopefully gonna do a lot of sewing. I wanna get my loungewear set done before we head off to another camping trip for July 4th. I told y'all I am so busy here and there every uh, summer. It seems like it goes by so quickly. We just fill it to the brim with family activity. So very busy. So I'm looking forward to a quiet weekend here at home, just doing some sewing, hopefully, and catching up on some housework. And I think that's going to do it for today's Hashtag Friday Sews video. Let me know down below what projects you have going right now. What's on your sewing table? What have you been sewing on this week? I love chatting with you all down below in the comment section. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>